I didn't enjoy th uh, the process at all. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a release for about five years. She's winning her fourth national award. Oh. So these are the comforts that I enjoy on this anthology, which is why I'm always around to make it. So mm. I really enjoyed that. <laughs>
thing that a woman trying to have a baby was had a miscarriage dealing with the trauma of it the anxiety of it right the the pangs of like this is a pregnant woman who has a drawer full of pregnancy test kits a pregnant woman who tests herself every day thinking mm. so, say making sure the baby is still there so that kind oh, of okay. a state of mind so i'm saying it's just that to get into that head and explore it was very interesting for me while you were making the film so were you conscious of the fact that what other guys uh, were making is no that, i mean i had is a, that something I had a that vague idea i mean we are never conscious of it as in we are not conscious of it in that way we are just aware of what each other are doing like very very basically like i knew what zoya's story was because janvi was in it and she mm. had told me very excitedly what it was about mm. kind of but didn't give me any disclaimers or any kind of spoilers and i knew dibakar's was a certain type of story mm. and uh, i didn't know anything about anurag's actually mm. uh, i just knew he was shooting it in london so uh, we didn't know anything and we mm. weren't aware because we've always made the three films that we've made together mm. we've never really known we've just mm. watched them all it's tradition we sit and watch complete films mm. and then give each other our love and mm. feedback devaka <coughs> you uh, like to make movies in a certain way and um, when you're having a platform like this where you don't have the burden of uh, box office pressure is not there uh, do you find that liberating even the films that i have done uh, theatrically i've taken care to do them very cheap because they don't have too much of a star presence mm. and they are sometimes top you know in terms of their subject and treatment sometimes slightly marginal and uh, that's conscious because that's who i am i can't change it you know it's like that it's just that i'm just lucky enough to be making films in an environment which is called bollywood mm. but i think all of us know that i'm kind of there on the edges and mm. kind of surviving that way it wasn't mm. very different <laughs> but the fact that there's karan zoya and anurag there gives me a little bit of slink room which i don't have on films which i produce and direct you know because okay. i had to produce all my films what happens is that that little bit of weight of that responsibility goes down you enjoy yourself a little bit more secondly i've always said good director or a good writer makes his first mistake around the 35th or the 40th moment because setups are easy if you're charged and if you're talented set up of every film you can do we've been we've seen many many films where talented directors have made films which the set up is nice including tarantino and then it kind of kind of nose dives a bit so a 30 minute film is basically a very short tight format where you can actually dive into it and make sure that the quality control happens from second one to second last so these are the comforts that i enjoy on this anthology which is why i'm always around to make it no matter what the pressure is so again mm. deep deep gratitude to be here so as you have said that i thrive on bending genre and inverting tropes and i am so looking forward to attempting that with a ghost story you do like to yeah. bend genre because i think each film of yours it's different maybe from each other every genre that you do comes with its own tropes so if you do a mm. romantic comedy it's the it has tropes mm. every genre has its tropes road movies mm-hmm. have their mm-hmm. tropes musicals have their tropes so uh, i mean mm-hmm. especially with a ghost story so you you have to be a little mindful a little aware mm-hmm. of what you're doing you have to uh, pick your tonality mm-hmm. on the film mm-hmm. you know uh, i mean every story uh, dictates mm-hmm. the treatment the story dictates the treatment so i was right. very careful with uh, uh, not doing uh, certain things that were typically there like you know and my films a bit of a slow burner so mm-hmm. i really enjoyed that Like mm. if you're looking for scares and all, it's not that kind of movie. It's yeah. very atmospheric. I, yeah. I disagree. It's, it's no, no, movie. I disagree. I because yeah? first, see, see, you know, it's ghost stories. Right. That's a critical chubby. Mm. Correct. Then and I watched your film. Yeah. It's, it's the I mean I won't I won't reveal I won't give any spoilers but the mood and the atmospherics are there yeah, with the yeah, knowledge of ghost true. stories. Right. Like Anurag, uh, uh, you've always had this um, <coughs> this struggle that you've you've worked with stars, you've worked with um, actors who become stars after working in your movies. Many would say that maybe it's a, it's a story which is a star and it's a entire entire context which is a star and maybe it's a way you look at certain things that's what it is. What is your perception for for something like this? You, do you feel that uh, you find that freedom? I find that freedom there's less of a stress here mm. as compared to the, with the feature films because I make films for same reason man every film and the joy of making the movie the pressure is less here the pressure is less here the pressure is much lesser here in the sense i hand because of the less pressure i can be little more daring you can be more daring yeah. okay you are which means like, you know, that the format is the star you are very the daring format <laughs> is the star. and we love that do you at times feel that maybe you know <coughs> there could have been like a situation for a song or something like that do you at times feel that no no you know uh, <laughs> 
in an anthology in any case i don't think that one can have any kind of scope or time for a song but i have used in last stories as a song yeah. when there was an uh, a zone that i wanted to communicate between vicky and kiara i used a song called motorcycle uh, yeah. and which is when where she had she was counting on her finger about how many thrusts would lead to her satisfaction or not uh, mm. that was a song called motorcycle and even in ghost stories i have a song just when she's getting married which is meant to be very like pretty traditional song it's mm. just like the lull before the storm so i wanted to use a song there i mean i miss music a lot when i shoot any kind of film but the lull before the storm it's lull before the lala la <laughs> yeah lull before the lala la. uh, but yeah i know now what do i do i am singing <laughs> and dancing <laughs> We've made no a, we've no made no a pledge complaining. that in the next, God willing, I will do the song. Yeah, and I will do whatever he is doing. Yeah, promise. अगली बार देखना सर. I think even you use music very nicely. Background music, how, how crucial is is that for? No, because the way the background, music, background, yeah. background, background music, music is, is the everything. Most and it's not the typical background background score. I think there's in fact, the, uh, the score in the trailers from which film? from whose film I, f- I no, can't remember. none of us it's it's general it's a no. it's all from the films i think it's from the film yeah no i don't i don't remember i don't remember i also don't remember i know i thought it was from yours mm. <coughs> okay i don't thank you very much and all the best wishes